Welcome back to the Loving Dubai show. And right now we're do- uh, joined by Dubai based musician. Free. Hello. Free. Happy to have you. So, Thanks. Mustafa Ishmael, yes. that's yes, yeah. aka Freak, um, who is taking the city by storm. Storm, welcome and thank you so much for joining us here yes, today. On this early Thanks. morning, I see you have a coffee in your hand. I know. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not always this early. Thank you for uh, rolling out of bed for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, amazing, it's, amazing. it's always good. Do you yeah. know what? I feel your pain. I haven't had my coffee yet and yeah, it's needed. Same. It is yeah. needed. It's just the first thing I always get for anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Before even picking up the phone. So. Oh, this is good. You still have your energy. So, okay, tell us a little bit about your journey, a little bit about yourself. Yeah, and for those who don't know. Um, yes. I go by the name of Freak. Um, I'm a musician, uh, born and raised in the UAE. Um, I'm also uh, into, into production and, uh, and like, Uh, anything entertainment, to be honest. Um, mm. I'm a full-time musician now. Wow, uh, fantastic. Yeah, which is amazing. It's been six years of uh, trying to decide if I should do it or not. <laughs> it, that, 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 that takes some doing. It like, that's takes a, a lot yeah. of time, yeah. Yeah. Especially after kind of like COVID mm. and, yeah. you know, just trying to pushing that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, it's like one of those things that um, it's kind of new in, this, in the city, like for someone to actually just pursue music full-time. It's always been like, A plan B for a lot of people, yeah, especially yeah. me, and just to convince the family, like, yeah. just what I want to do full time, and, yeah. and uh, but yeah, like I think it just they saw the work, they saw the progress, and it just felt right. To oh, just, that's yeah. amazing, that's fantastic. Cool. Okay. I have to say, I swear, it's more a case of getting family on board it always is. than yeah. anything else yeah. when you make decisions on life. Yeah. 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 even if you are a fully fledged adult, yeah, yeah. it still requires, it still requires family. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's, it's like if they don't really feel it. It's yeah. like, wow, I can't do it anymore. Like, or it's like right. if they don't know someone who's done it or like gone down yeah. the same path, it like worries and, them and a little bit. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing I was, I was talking about. It's like there's no reference to these things in yeah. the city. Like I can't even say this guy, this guy did it. Like I can do yeah. it. It's like everyone just doing the blueprint on their own and mm. um, trying to figure out yeah. if this can work or not. So what inspired you to obviously not only get into mu- uh, music, but also obviously take the massive leap of actually doing it full time yeah i mean it just like to be honest my inspiration is me like my inspiration is me five years ago when when i first joined the company that i was working in and uh, i was trying to do like trying to juggle between both jobs do the nine to five go back home try to record and then on the weekend i started to shoot music videos it was literally like seven days a week of just straight straight work and uh And it paid off in 2019. I felt, I felt like it was the first time that um, I went and like I saw the world. I went to the UK for the first time. I performed. Ah, yeah. oh, uh, the yeah, home country. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, just to, just to, just to, There's something about just flying to another country yeah. for your passion, and just strictly for your music. It just, it was just breathtaking. And uh, yeah. Um, and then yeah, like it just the balls kept rolling. And then I've been on. Um, On um, Love and Hip Hop, uh, they came nice. to shot the show here, and I was I was featured in this, the first Arabic artist to be in the show. Yeah, yeah. and um, and stuff like that just made me just go back home, and then it just it's always hit me like after the show, it was the F1 concerts, right? Yeah. Um, it was a it was a crazy weekend. I had to go work the next day in the morning, and I was just knackered, just sitting <laughs> there. And the boss is talking to me, and I'm just zoning out. I'm just remembering what I was doing yesterday night. Yeah. It just hit me. I'm like, wow, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then just, be- I was, I, I felt like Superman. Like I had two characters. Like I, I was, I was the corporate guy the next day, and, <laughs> and at night they they know me as freak. In the morning I was Mustafa, you know. Oh and, yeah, yeah. And I just, I, I, I started becoming a bit schizo, you know, like yeah, like yeah, two yeah. different personalities, yeah, yeah. totally. Well, like, also you just get pulled in different different ways, yeah, yeah. and you're like, okay, well, I should be, I shouldn't be staying out late because I've got this, but I really, but I've got yeah. to do it because obviously you've got to perform. Yeah, so yeah. you're it, not, it, you end up not giving the best of both sides. You like, know? like I think it was even the treatment. Like at the beginning, when I used to perform, I used to perform for like 10, 20 people, and the treatment wasn't really different. And mm. and as soon as I start pro, like 
the treatment, the hospitality, the green, like the backstage treatment. And yeah. it's like, yeah. hey, sir, you can have this, this for you, this is your green room. And, <laughs> and then the next day, I see my boss talking to me in a different way, and I'm like, and wow. Like, oh, that's so cool. That's yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yesterday, like I was, was there last yeah, night. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, <laughs> the treatment was different. And it, that, that, I couldn't just keep up. The balance was yeah. just off. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what takes up most of your kind of time? Are you kind of recording in studio, or are you kind of doing your own thing? Are you out at clubs? Like, um, I, like it's just a balance between just the lifestyle. Like, yeah. Um, mm. I try to record as much as possible every week, and um, the music videos in the futures when I get I get futures in from Saudi and Egypt when they fly here, I have to shoot music video with them. It's just yeah, a whole yeah. logistics. It's up, yeah, <laughs> it's just a whole. It's just a, my whole schedule is just it's full packed. of packed. Yeah, yeah. if I'm not attending events, the next day I'm shooting. If I'm not shooting, yeah. I'm, I'm doing photo shoots, modeling for a certain brand, and yeah. and it just. Um, it doesn't stop, really. I was gonna ask about your music videos. Now that you mentioned, like, there's such a kind of like a huge production. Each one is like such a like experience on its own. Yeah. And how much of a role do you play in that? Like, you know, behind the scenes kind I of crazy. I play a huge role. I don't know, <laughs> okay, I don't yeah. know if people know, like, because I come from so production. So you're in a bathroom. I. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What made you go? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a fantastic <laughs> idea. It's, it's, it's most of the time. It's always in the bath. Like, mo okay. my greatest hits came from just from me the sitting. Yeah, yeah, just just zoning out in the in the bathroom and <laughs> and um, and yeah, because I come from production, I edited mo most of my music videos and yeah. and it's easy to accomplish. And I have a great team behind me, like people I grew up with, and like we came from the same area, and it's just amazing. We all grew up together. We know themselves 13, 14, mm -hmm. and we're still together like 15 years later. And okay. um, they 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 excelled in their in their path, and I was doing my own music and. Yeah. We always collaborate in, in art, so nice. it's beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah. amazing. Yeah, so, I mean, so obviously it's, it's Arab rap, right, yes. that you're into. So yes. what made you kind of go into into that over kind of, you know, the tr I, it's not even traditional, but, you know. But like more of a Western yeah, rap, let's exactly. say. I, I mean, like, to be honest, I felt like um, I wanted to be relevant to my people. And uh, mm. yeah. um, I'm a fan of music. I never wanted to make music. I was a fan of, like... The music I used to I used to like import music as they say like the, the music coming from America or, or the UK yeah. um, I was always been a fan but and then I just it just hit me I'm like wow we should really target our youth how can we speak to our youth because mm -hmm. most of them don't really speak English and yeah mm -hmm. and uh, most of my fans don't really listen to a lot of English rap and okay. uh, and it's just beautiful to give them something they relate to yeah. our lifestyle our history how I grew up. A lot of people relate to it because I grew up here, and, mm. yeah. and most of the stuff I say in music, it just related to certain, like certain people in the Middle East, yeah. which is beautiful. Like it just gives it the, the whole different dimension. But well, that's yeah. the whole thing with music, I think. You know, yeah, it has to music, be personal. Well, it also like, do you not ever listen to um, like a song or an album and you go? this takes me back to this moment yeah. and it's yes. amazing how it can transport you mm -hmm. yes. so obviously for you obviously being here like i'm assuming and i'm sure for a lot of your fans it yeah. will transport them back like ah, oh, i remember skating doing this yes. and whatever you know like yeah just certain areas in Abu Dhabi where i grew up and just that there are certain meals i took and and it just it just is so nostalgic to me and people are like wow like it's just beautiful how you can put it in a certain instrument Mm. And it just say th those phrases. It's just beautiful. It just gives a different uh, feeling to it. And um, after a while, like when you start listening to a lot of Western music, like wow, it doesn't hit as much. Well. Like, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the whole concept. Like, I grew up knowing a lot of slangs, American slangs. I'm like, wow, well, how do I know this? I never been to the states, <laughs> right? And um, and Demon. that's how that's how I feel. It's so yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so influential. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like we can do the same. Like, I can I can influence people in Australia. I can influence people in yeah. And 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 in the UK, it it hit me in the UK where people actually just Arabs born and raised in, in the UK. And they used to be fans of my music, and they were like, "Wow, this takes me back mm, where I, so I, I was born in Saudi, and then I moved to the UK when I was three. And yeah. your music, it just yeah. it, it takes resonates. me there. I mean, yeah. that scene in London is huge. It's Big, huge, yeah. it's and it's it's just such a it's yeah. it's not even now an underground scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the city is so diverse. Like it's just crazy how the country is. So so like multicultural and yeah. it's so inspiring. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like when you're abroad as well, like you really kind of like want to hone in on those like homey elements, things like 100%. that. One hundred percent. So I feel like maybe that's why, especially like you've performed, you know, around the world globally yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you feel like the hip hop scene, the Arab rap scene, is gonna like really kind of take charge as well, like globally rather than just maybe regionally? I think I think it's time. 
Yeah. I think it's time because it's, 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 it's like right now, I'm just happy. I'm just happy that I am in this <laughs> era right now. Yeah. Um, not 10 years ago and not 15 years ago. It just like everywhere in the Middle East is just growing. Yeah. Egypt, mm. Jordan, Lebanon. And, yeah. Just... I mean, we were chatting to um, kind of some people yeah. um, in kind of in the music industry and their whole kind of thing is very much Western beats, you know, Arab influence. Mm -hmm. And it is very much kind of, I think now with like social media and with, you know, it's so much more accessible. Yeah. You know, obviously back in the day, you know, back in the day, it was very much kind of like, okay, it's what you're, it's in your country and what you're kind of influenced by. Yeah. Now yeah. you can, you, you know, you have the potential reach to go kind of anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Which the is internet. absolutely exactly. Thanks to the internet. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks to the internet. And the, the, the world became just a small place yeah. where I can just collab with people across the world and mm. I can just get vocals right. So through, how does you know? that work? Like, do you, because obviously now you don't have to be in the same location. Mm -hmm. So do you just yeah. kind of record your, your bit, send it off, they I do their bit? I prefer being in the same room. It's yeah. just different energy. Well, you yeah. get the chemistry. Yeah and, yeah, and and just we could flow ideas and how we can brainstorm. It's definitely, um, it's a different vibe. I prefer it, but like, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes mm. you have to work with more. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just get on like, Zoom and all, all these yeah. apps and just to uh, just to make it more organic. But, yeah, 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 yeah. For like the ideas to flow off of. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. just we could sometimes stay on 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 in front of the camera for like three four hours, yeah. right? Just to just to just to break that fear or just break that chemistry. Sometimes we change the whole idea after I meet the guy. I'm like, wow, you you totally different than what I thought. And <laughs> yeah. Let's change it to this. Let's change yeah. the beat. And that's so great though that you can be kind of dynamic to, to yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. again, like different chemistry changes. Yeah, exactly. It flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It flows. Yeah. It flows. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it just sometimes like being born and raised in the UAE, it gives me a lot of uh, strength when it comes to diversity. Yeah. 100%. Maybe because I know a lot of like I grew up with a lot of nationalities, so I yeah. can tell what what can be good and what can yeah. Like you not. have the social cues. Yeah, for that yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. yeah. Don't you think that I mean that is a that is it such really a divide is thing. Such I a mean, yeah. you know, I lived in London, and even still, like yeah. you ha you can see everybody around you, but you're not necessarily always mixing, and because yeah. and also like London people are miserable. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I can say that I lived in London, That's but fine. like whereas here, yeah. like everybody is just like everybody, and so you're yeah. also kind of getting so, and obviously. You're just getting so many different cultures and different mm. kind of reference points, which I think yeah. is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And, and it forces you to actually know certain yeah. la like slangs from that certain nationality. Yeah. Yeah. Because it just makes it, it like you live among people here and, and you're forced to live among, which is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where in London, it's like you can literally segregate yourself and live in a bubble and yeah. no one will. 100%. No one will actually. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. No, yeah. Talk to you. Yeah. No, yeah. Genuinely, yeah. no one will yeah. talk to you. Like, literally. Oh my gosh, you guys. You got to work. Go back. Yeah. It is. It's like you wake up in the morning and then you go to work and you and then you get on a tube and you're like, don't talk to me. And yeah. then you go Everyone into the Everyone has office. that face expression where like, they're like this in a so cold. Kind of thing. Genuinely, okay. it's awful. Like I had somebody come up to me and like, genu like I'm from the north. So yeah. In the north, there's very much a north side line. In the north, everybody's like, hi, so nice to meet you. Yeah. South, then like, if anybody goes, hi, they're literally like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Those... And then in London, if anybody's like, I was on the tube once and they're like, hi. And I was like, like, I don't think so. I was like, 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 like are you mental? Yeah. Like, don't talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, honestly, I'm probably the most pleasant person in the world. Here? Oh my god, yeah, Amy is like the like sunshine of the office, you know. Oh, wow. because, Look at that. Uh, well, I paid to say yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. It's okay, <laughs> you know, it's fine. Um, okay, I want to like, so when you hit that like one million views yes. on YouTube, yeah. what was That's that insane, feeling by the like? Way. It's ins exactly. I'm rich! No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, uh, Do you think, that's what I'm rich, and then you look at you like, what I, I'm more yeah. than I'm rich. That, that's, what, that's what I thought when I first made music. Like, I thought when I hit a million, I'm going to be rich. And yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, the, 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 the truth. It wasn't the truth. Uh, but it really, it just validated my music and made it more, um, I mean, for me, I validated myself. Wait, yeah. Yeah. For, just for people, when they see certain things and certain numbers, it just, they validate you and they they, mm. they know you're serious in what yeah. you're doing you know yeah and um yeah for some people it, they need that they yeah. need tick boxes yeah. don't they it's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a it's a milestone mm. a lot a lot of, a lot of it like that and uh, just performing in big places and performing in the f1 and stuff like that when people see it, it's like they change quickly yeah. and they're like wow this guy's 
you know? Yeah, yeah. he's here. He's like one to watch for. Yeah, 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 yeah. like it's like, wow, like, they start hitting me up, like people that I grew up with in school, hey man, we grew up together. <laughs> <laughs> remember yeah, it's, 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 yeah. the good times, yeah. Uh -huh. Like we remember the good times even though you guys didn't really yeah. ever. No, some people I literally don't remember. You know, it's like, it's like, I, I wasn't I wasn't that popular kid in, in school. It's mm. just um, and I never thought I would come to this point where people are just gonna text me and be like, "Hey, I was that guy. I used to be in that class." And yeah, I'm like, That's wow. insane. Like, yeah, I'm, I wasn't I wasn't that guy. I wasn't I wasn't popular. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I'm, I'm not gonna remember that. It's a, it's a, it must be a very odd experience. It is an odd experience. So yeah. obviously you hit one million. You've yes. done some insane concerts. Yeah. You've obviously just released a album yes. back in February, which yes. is well, congratulations. Yes. One fifty. Yes. Yeah. So how did you get? To, I mean, obviously, was is, was this your first album? First like, album. How, yeah. How did first, you? How did it kind of come album. together? Um, like just the pressure. I feel a lot of people were like, "Listen, <laughs> like make an album." Yeah, it's like it's, it's time. Like, okay. um, and that's one other thing. Like after you having like just a, 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 a like ten ten a project full of just tracks and they all like seamlessly mm. Mm. Uh, flow it just says more than just one single like a body of work always tells the whole story and uh, and i always listen to it from from from, from beginning to the end and uh, i'm like wow like that was just that says everything and it had every mood possible that yeah. I go through and yeah. So, yeah. so with your album, I mean, because obviously I didn't realize how much goes into, into it. it. Yeah. Even like the position, I just thought, okay, yeah. they just took a load of songs, you know, obviously. Yeah. But there's obviously a very much a process in terms of how it is. Some tell a story, some are just about like moods exactly, and where you're at in life. Exactly, like, and you always keep switching. You have to listen to it and you're like, nah, you should just switch to this, da da da, you know? Yeah. And it just needs to flow and the story needs to just um, end properly. Yeah. Nice. Because what yeah. kind of brought you to that place? Because obviously a lot of people, they just release kind of like yeah, EPs. Hit yeah. Songs, yeah. yeah. Look at me no all the way. Yeah, I got the lingo. <laughs> so but they do, lingo. like they, they release lots of different songs. They release things on kind of like Spotify or whatever. Yeah. And then, but never actually get to the point of actually releasing an album, yeah. which is actually like, it's an incredible achievement. I know, I, yeah, especially doing it independently. It's just, um, it just, uh, just cool friends around and, uh, uh, just to invest their time and effort. Uh, shout out to the whole uh, crew, just to, to just to motivate me. Because so, mm -hmm. um, during this whole time, like I'm done. I'm just gonna release it. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't take this yeah. anymore. It's like um, sometimes you start doubting yourself, where you can't do this uh, independently. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, like after after I dropped it, it just felt right. Amazing. Felt amazing. Yeah. Felt amazing. yeah. That's Amazing, so great. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. Oh, great story, inspired. honestly. Yeah, very much. <laughs> so how many? So how many uh, music videos of like crazy, you know, wow. bathroom Antics. scenes are you gonna do from here now? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's always well, the it's starting. Always that, that's my it's slate now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm one of those. Now you set the bar, yeah. so you really got it. Like the next one's gonna be even. Yeah, yeah, the project. The next project is gonna be crazier. I'm sure. Like. Yeah. Um, I'm hope, hopefully I'm gonna um, on top of the Burj Khalifa holding yeah, signs. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's always been my dream. I wanted to <laughs> shoot something in Burj Khalifa, but let's see. Yeah. See well, you know, happen. you never know. This could be the first step. Burj Khalifa, you call him first. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next for you then? Like, what's coming up? What are you working on next? Um, I have I have a music video coming up. Okay. Um, I think it's gonna be my last music video for the album. Okay. Amazing. Um, it's for the track Samhani. Um. Which uh, means uh, forgive. Forgive. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Yeah. I'm emotional already, you forgive guys. Me, yeah, it's for the people. It's for the people I didn't pick up. I didn't mm. answer. They used to tell me, "I know you from school." And <laughs> no, 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 not really. But it just, uh, it just, it just, it means a lot. It's one of my. Um, uh, it's always. It's, it's the first time I actually open up in a track, which is beautiful. But. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, well thank you it. so much. You're welcome. Like, thank you for joining you us. Yeah. Thank you for sharing with thank us. Thank you for opening up. And I really hope that it's all just success from here on out. Yeah. Hopefully. Really excited to see what comes next. Exactly. You and, you know, thank if you. you have a concert or whatever, you know. Yes, yeah, definitely yeah. done. I yes, mean, Amy, the music expert over here, I mean, would love to join. I know so. the word EP. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for joining in today. Um, tune in tomorrow to uh, the Love and Dubai show. And thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Guys.